right on time, ladies and gentlemen, right on time. The man of the hour, justice for hire, Jen, Lucanus, and crew. He's got the crew with him, y'all. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Oh, hello, Demetrius. Yes, sir. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you. You got the team in here. You yeah. got the team, baby. Did you get a chance to see your booth yet? Uh, we have not had a chance to see the booth well, yet. Well, let me share my screen so you can see your booth, my friend. Here we go. Where are you? Uh, Justice for high. Here we go. Boom. Here I am right there. I'm in the perfect place. You see, I'm coming up on you right now. There we go. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Fun. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Oh. Yeah. And each of these things will send you to a call to action. I can bring this forward. This right here will take me to justiceforhire.com. Okay. And if I click here, right, this will take me to your YouTube. In fact, since I'm in it, can I play it? I'm going to go ahead and play that one. Since you know, since y'all done showed me some love, Believe here we go. You can save the day because you actually can. Because when you pass by the mirror, I want you to know that you are no further than your reflection to find the hero. The hero is right here. So you need to look at yourself. If you don't see it on the screen, you need to look to the back like this and look and say, I see a hero in the reflection. And then start acting like it. You guys are alive with uh, right now. We are at the show. We are at the show. We want you to know the heroes with that. And that's why we exist. You can do what you believe you can do. If thou can't believe, all things are possible. You got to start by believing. And that's why we're here to make sure you see all types of eclectic backgrounds from all over the world so you can know that there's a hero everywhere. Just look no further than your reflection, baby, and you'll find a hero. We had to press through and persevere against all odds, but sometimes adversity is an advantage. 1,016 people were shot and killed by the police last year. How can JFH protect and serve better than the police departments? Help people be heroes in their own lives. Facebook, I think. I get oh, yeah. Back. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Demetrius, thank you so much for, for lending your, your voice and image to, to that trailer. And uh, oh, I, have, I have a quick nice. question for you. Uh, some of our, 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 our folks on Instagram want to know uh, where this live stream is. This is on the your Facebook, correct? Yeah. Uh-huh. Urban Action Showcase. At Urban okay. Action Showcase on Facebook. Yes. Yeah, Urban Action Showcase on Facebook. So mm -hmm. it's, it's live right there right now. Vengeance. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But um, we are just excited to have you guys. You guys are doing something new. Uh, we're going to let you talk about it. Uh, you can start by talking about Justice for Hire and then the new offering uh, that you guys have that people can take part of uh, something new where everybody can be a hero. Oh, well, th th thank you, Demetrius. Well, I I'm joined today uh, with my co-founders. I'm Jan, Jan Lucanis, and, and I have, let's see, this side, this is Andra. Hi, guys. And Autumn. Hello. Our, our, our whole team is, uh, we're real world, and we're producing content or cinematic universes, we should say, with the audience. We think that Hollywood and fans working together will create better movies and shows. So the very first project that we have is called Justice for Hire. And Justice for Hire, if you know the history, it's based on the comic book series, so there's a lot of lore there. But we built from the ground up a cinematic universe where anyone can join. And we've been operating on, on Instagram for a while. Andra's been building our app, 
And we have a series that we've actually been producing for the last two years that's super high quality, awesome stuff. We just started putting out episodes in December of 2020. So we're about three episodes in. And anyone can join the cast, have their own hero story, their own origin story that ties into a shared universe of heroes and characters. So all this stuff is happening right now, and we have our crowdfunding campaign that uh, Autumn can tell you a little bit more about that's on uh, Net Capital right now where we're fan-owned and anyone can, can join us on the, on the offering. Yeah, we, we really want, we, we're making movies with the world, and this equity crowdfunding campaign is a really amazing step to open that up to have allow everyone to have a stake in what we're doing because ultimately we need you, we need you guys to, to achieve our goal of making movies with the world. Yeah. So, I mean, essentially the, the, oh, thanks for pulling it up. So essentially anyone can join us, join us right now, own a part of the company. Uh, we very much see ourselves that this is the future of filmmaking. It's, an, it, it's inevitable um, that movies and shows and social media or social collaboration for, for creativity will all converge. And that's what this is. This is us coming together and, and building the new way together. As, as the Mandalorian would say, this, this is, the, is the way. This is yeah. the way. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you guys, let me take you back real quick because I, I'm gonna show you how I got there. I didn't type that in. I'm gonna show you how I got there. Uh, I simply, um, all I did was go here. I was right here right right here on the sidewall i just pulled this to me like this and i just said open link boom oh that's awesome that's simple okay so the good news is this is accessible from this point on that's why this was the grand opening this is the grand opening because from from now until next november this is accessible and we're gonna have uh events every month showcasing our exhibitors so jfh will be here at least until uh, uh, November 2020, <laughs> November 2021. So you can find out all the different calls to action that they have. Like I said, this took me to the video. This took me uh, to the page. And you, by clicking, it'll tell you where you go. This will go to justiceforhire.com. It's that simple. This right here will go to the YouTube video. It's that simple. This will take you to the offering at Net Capital. And it's that simple. Okay, it's that simple, guys. So uh, definitely um, browse and see what uh, these exhibitors have to offer. But let's talk about what's so unique about this approach. Uh, everyone can be a hero shooting it on your phone and let people know once again that this is not real. It looks real. Don't download this app and think somebody going to come save you. <laughs> That's not going to happen. This is strictly entertainment, but at the end of the day, um, we need heroes that look like each and every one of us. And this is an opportunity to find a hero, not only within, but the hero with the, the, the hero in the reflection, the one in the reflection. So talk to us about um, how they can submit, how they can join, uh, where they need to go and so forth. Uh, so first and foremost, everybody can come to uh, justiceforhire.com or find us on Instagram uh, at justiceforhire. So uh, before our, our app is even fully complete, we're actually running, uh, Andra is running our, our app team tests every Wednesday. Um, but the, the bottom line is that people have been able to join our cast because it's the thinking behind creating a story with the world, making a movie or a show with the world that, uh, that we've had for a while. And so with that thinking and those processes, we've been able to bring people into a shared universe. And uh, uh, you know, you can be a hero, you could be a client, uh, which calls heroes and gives them direction, or you can become a villain. And uh, you know, of course we need more heroes, but <laughs> you know, if you want to play a, a play a villain, you can do that too. And, and it's it's fun, it's like live action role playing meets cinema. And um, it's, you know, where we are, this is strictly entertainment, but we, we do have some real life superheroes that have joined our cast and have kind of brought their narrative into the shared universe. So that's, that's super interesting too, because there are, are people that, um, you know, there, there are no superpowers in our universe. This is all real world action. And, um, you know, like Star Trek helped to 
to bring us the the cell phone. You know, the, we wouldn't have a cell phone if it wasn't for for Star Trek uh, uh, ideating that 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 concept. Um, I think that that us fictionalizing solutions to real world problems is going to lead us to a lot uh, to a better world overall, and, and that's what we're doing with JFH. And while building that virtual reality, uh, we changed the our reality, the one in which we're living daily. So yeah, join us every Wednesday until further notice on the test uh, sessions. And yeah, we're gonna pull, uh, put out more um, app invites as, as we progress. Yeah, so the app, if you wanna actually test the app, that's every Wednesday. Yeah. And so of course, if you want that invitation, all you have to do is, is uh, DM us on, on Instagram or join us on the, on the website. Okay, well, how do we find you on Instagram? We ain't as tech savvy as you. Oh, it's at Justice for Hire or Instagram.com slash Justice for F-O-R Hire. And, uh, or you can just go to JusticeForHire.com and you'll find all the links on there. Demetrius just showed that. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I just want to say thank you to you guys because you guys showed up and showed off for Urban Action Boy. They had uh, five days of training. Uh, Monday through Friday with with not just anybody. They had the Mikados on there, man. They had everybody. He had the Filipino stick fighting. We had the Muay Thai, man. We had everything that you guys could have taken a, a part of with these 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 icons of the industry teaching you, um, you know, basically uh, how to fight and how to fight, obviously for for film and so forth. And then you you. Uh, tidied it up with with how to use your uh, your phone to shoot the scene and everything you needed to know you know to shoot action you guys did it and then uh you had some great panels as well that you guys can check out uh on the site but man we we appreciate you guys partnering with us this year it was very exciting oh we appreciate you demetrius and again that that you know you you giving that amazing speech to the entire if you don't know, everybody, the, the our trailer is wrapped around a speech that Demetrius gave to all of the exhibitors and attendees of the Urban Action Showcase in November. And it was so epic and so spot on for what we're doing in terms of, of creating a system where we're, we're looking inside of ourselves to pull out that inner hero and embody it. And his speech was so moving that we're like, man, that's the trailer. So we just cut a trail. We had, a, we had our, our sound designers over at Paramount. <laughs> you know, come on and, and literally like take his his voice and, and cut out all the music that was playing behind him so it sounds clean and it's and it's awesome so so thank you demetrius well you guys did a great job i was shocked man i was shocked i was like wow that's nice you know i'm like okay i sound like dr king in there <laughs> <laughs> I'm just there looking, we're like we have to we looked at each other we we're like we have to use it he's cool with that so Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, just uh, I, you know, I don't want to digress, but I do want to talk about the fact that you are a push hands Olympic coach, champion, and uh, Tai Chi. Uh, so let's talk about a little bit about your martial arts background because the thing is, we walk around as Clark Kent until it's time for us to go into that phone booth, baby, and be Superman. So right now, let's go into the phone booth and reveal the real deal. Let's talk about, you know, you a martial arts champion, man. Let's talk about that. Uh, sure. Uh, what, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> well, you know, the, you, you you teach uh, the, the push hands for the Olympics team sure. and stuff like that. So let's talk about that. Sure. So, so I, I coached, I, I was the former captain from the 2009 to 2011 and coach of the U.S. Tai Chi push hands team under Grandmaster William C.C. C. Chen. And I took over the team from my coach, Josh Waitskin, uh, who's the world champ. And if, if you guys uh, know about Josh's work in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he's Marcelo Garcia's first black belt. Uh, he's William C.C. C. Chen's top student uh, in the Tai Chi world. And he was also a uh, child chess prodigy, then they made that movie Searching for Bobby Fischer on uh, on Josh's uh, childhood. So uh, Josh wrote an amazing book called The Art of Learning, and I highly recommend it. Actually, I recommend The Audible more because Josh actually narrates it. And it's all about uh, his connection between Tai Chi and chess and, and the recognition of, of uh, turning yourself into an expert learner. So it's amazing stuff. 
And um, you can, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can just go to Coach Jan's Tai Chi if, on YouTube, but you'll see tons of videos that Josh is talking about in that book um, in terms of the actual matches and his experience going for that World Cup gold title. Uh, the Tai Chi World Cup takes place every two years in Taiwan. And Tai Chi in the States is really uh, misrepresented as something that, that, that old people do in the park early in the morning. Uh, really what it is, it's a, it's a tool for optimizing body mechanics, breath work, and visualization. And because of that, it really allows you, if you train Tai Chi, anything you do is going to become better. And like, whether that's like mental, physical, spiritual, it's just, it's an amazing, amazing system. It is a martial art, but it goes much deeper into uh, utilizing the breath and visualization to gain greater control over your attention and then giving intent to that attention. It changes the way you wrestle. It changes the way you strike. It changes the way you present yourself in, in, in a conversation. So it's pretty spectacular. And, um, you know, there, there aren't many... That we need a greater talent pool here in the states because again, it's 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 underrepresented. Um, you know, I think the post COVID, I'm hoping that a lot more people are going to be training together and training Tai Chi. Right now, if you, if, I actually for JFH for Justice for Hire, we have a weekly Tai Chi session that is open to the public for free, and that's every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, that's donation based as well. So, and every week we choose a different. Uh, uh, a different noble cause to donate the money to. So, um, you know, we're, we're all about for justice for hire. We're all about bringing this, you know, actual heroism to the real world. And for me personally, it's like, well, why don't I just kind of give the Tai Chi in, in, in name of, of uh, service and a name of justice for hire and, and just kind of uh, showcase what we're really about. Uh, is this virtual? It's yeah, it's on Zoom. It's on Zoom every every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Everybody's welcome. Yeah, I got to have a grand opening to find out about this stuff. Man, I tell you, folks, don't <laughs> tell nobody nothing. I have to have a grand opening to find out what style Tai Chi are you guys teaching? So I, I do three different styles. And I, and so there's Wu style, there's Yang style, and then there's there's reverse breathing Yang style and uh, Luha Bafa, which depending on who you talk to, uh, six coordinations, eight methods, also known as water boxing. Uh, but depending on who you talk to, uh, predates Tai Chi, depends on, on who, who's giving you the history. But uh, essentially, uh, for the, the U.S. team, the U.S. Tai Chi push hands team, we took exercises and concepts from all of those systems and just brought them together into what I would consider a, a, a mindful wrestling system. And that includes the singular exercises the Negong, the, it's like weightlifting for intention with breath work and slow movement. Um, that's what we really focus on on Tuesdays. And this Negong was was very much considered the inner circle teachings of um, of like the grand masters. And so like a lot of students didn't get the Negong. They got the form, they got the push hands, but they didn't get the the quote unquote ammunition to, ma to make that uh, stronger. So uh, as part of our, our ethos as a team, we, we, we don't believe in secrets. So it's like, hey, if this is helpful, and that's that permeates justice for hire, that permeates what we do in real world, it, there's no reason to keep secrets if it's going to help us all become better and evolve the art. So if you come on Tuesdays, what I'll be showing are inner circle things that should be widely distributed as rapidly as possible. So please come, if you're a teacher, come and take it, give it to your students. You don't have to say where you got it from. As long as we all do it, it's going to be the whole world's going to get better. So please come on Tuesdays <laughs> and the invites on justiceforhire.com That's uh, every week. OK, I'm going to have to search that out. <laughs> um, now, what is the Chen style Tai Chi play into all of this? Uh, so I don't do much Chen uh, personally, and, and uh, I think it's a beautiful art. And I've actually started experimenting with my own like Wudong Mountain style training um, with, with faster and slower and, and deeper, longer stances. Um, so I'm doing that right now in life. But I was I was instructed by my teachers as I was learning um, to do more of the, the slower movements and, and separate the systems before integrating the, um, the more explosive stuff with the slower. So I was training, you know, Shaolin Kung Fu and I got kicked out of a Shaolin Temple, which is another story. And then, you know, I was training the Tai Chi simultaneously 
and just just making sure that each had its own uh, space to to grow before bringing them together. Beautiful. Wow. You might. What what you said Wednesday nights at eight? That's Tuesdays eight p.m. Eastern. Tuesday. And, uh, Justiceforhire.com. How, How long? From eight to what? Oh, it's an hour. It's an hour long. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect because my client ain't till nine. So Tuesdays you gonna see me. Oh, amazing. I'm gonna get my Tai Chi on, baby. My Tai Chi. Yeah, please bring sure. anybody, everybody you like. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell it now. You don't told me. I'm gonna tell it. I'm gonna put the link in the description <laughs> so y'all can find it because I didn't know. So uh, then don't forget it's donation based, y'all. Don't forget about that part. All right. Well, that sounds good. Um, if you have any recommendations for places that we should be donating to, please let us know because we, we'll just put the link on the site because you just go and you donate directly to the place. It doesn't go through us. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So what do you need from us? I know you have the uh, site for um, the, the, the investment site. Could you give us a little bit more information on how that works and 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 is this uh, you know it's part of the jobs act right so we're talking about intangibles right and you're talking about the um uh you know being able to invest in something but give us for those who are not really really familiar with things like kickstarter and um other platforms how is this different and or how is it similar? Sure. So so in um, I think it was 2015, um, the, the Jobs Act was passed. And I think in 2016, um, the, the Reg CF, right, regulation crowdfunding, was made available so that companies could do like what was happening on Kickstarter, except sell pieces of, of their actual company called equity crowdfunding. So um, there's there's a, a, a slew. It's a, there's actually going to be a big push this year. A lot of people are going to be doing this um, uh, for for uh, partially because of COVID, but also because it's it really is the future of uh, essentially allowing your fans and your customers to own part of your company. And for it's you know we've been working on what we're doing with Justice for Hire and with Real World for many years, and we've always said it doesn't matter if, if a venture capitalist gives us ten million dollars we're still doing a equity crowdfunding campaign because it's in the spirit of what uh, we're all about. We're, if we're really talking about making movies with the world, if we're talking about people having ownership over their creativity, but also being able to share that creativity and co-own with other people, like, hey, we're all part of this cinematic universe. We're all part of a story we're telling. Well, that should actually go down to everybody being able to own a piece of the company that's producing it, the studio. That means that when the studio makes money, you should make money. So that that is really the, the vision for what we're doing to become, to build the new type of studio that really merges social media and like the largest scale Hollywood productions and say, hey, look, we're, we're coming together, building this with the people. And when when our stuff is successful, everybody benefits that that owns a part of the company. Uh, and, and even if you can't invest, you know, just being a part of the narrative and actually participating in something like Justice for Hire, there's benefit there too. So we want to just make sure that people that, uh, you know, I believe that, that when you make the right decisions, lots of people benefit always. So, you know, if, if we can make the decision as a team to, as a community to, to build this together, which, we, you know, we're very much building that community now. Uh, I think all of us are just going to be better for it. So if we're, we're very focused on crowdfunding as our as our main way to fuel everything we're doing. Okay, so if they go here, your minimum investment is ninety nine dollars, right? So with that investment, what happens? So with that investment, you you, you get a you, you're you're buying into the company. Uh, I forgot how many shares that is, but I. I um, one dollar a share. So. Okay, great. So you're you're essentially buying about a hundred shares, ninety nine to one hundred dollars, uh, hundred shares in the company, and um, you know this is this is something that we always tell people like you know don't don't expect to put in a hundred dollars today and then you know by the end of the year <laughs> you you've you've one thousand x your That's investment. So. Oh, we would love to be able to <laughs> to to do that for for everybody. But this is something where it's a it's a it's a longer term investment, and if you believe in what we're doing, um, you know the, the, you. You invest, you, you tell your friends about it and, and keep on telling more and more people because that's how we're going to get the word out. 
Um, you know, there, there are companies that have raised tens of millions of dollars doing this. And, um, and for us, you know, for us to be able to, if we have the investors that are also the customers, you know, like you're, you're investing in something, but you're also saying, Hey, you know what, this movie or show is coming out. This is from my company. Go and watch it, go participate, go create your own character and help build the story. You're essentially bringing more, uh, you know, more, more benefit, more profit to yourself and to all of us. So I think that if we all own a part of this company, um, you know, our team, the, the real world family, uh, which should be people across the nation, across the world, um, we're just all going to be benefiting for, for the long run, especially with the ethos of, of, uh, of you know, saving the world for real. <laughs> well, you know, we definitely need saving. That's for sure. And, and no one else is going to do it except us. That, but that's the truth. That's the truth. We all keep <laughs> looking, we all keep looking out instead of looking in, and that's where many of the solutions are. You know, uh, there's a saying that our greatest enemy is enemy, and enemy often gives you the wrong perspective because you're looking outside to determine on what's on the inside. And, and, and that sometimes is, is, it's, you know, you, you can't help that. Sometimes it's a situation you're born in. Sometimes it's geographical. But if you have images which do what? Influence. If you have other images that can influence something greater inside of you, then you can begin to see yourself differently and begin to realize that that inner me does not have to be your enemy, but it can be that which propels you to the next level and helps you to become the best you that you can be, you know, at the end of the day. And I feel like what you're doing, if you really want to dissect it, that's what you're doing because you're telling everybody, said, listen, you're starting out as a hero. I'm telling you, this is who you are, you know, right now, this is who you are. Now it's up to you to live up to that standard, but this is the title that I'm giving you. And that's, uh, some people call that, um, what do they call that? Um, the projection, right? Or positive uh, affirmation or whatever. But sometimes, you know, it's, it's just uh, the truth. <laughs> it's just the truth because, um, you know, why is it, that everything is negative? Why is it that everything is negative? Why is it that you're less than? Why Why can't you be positive or more than? What, what's the problem with that? And it's the society that we're in that has created these, these constructs that have defined many of us and, 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 and I should say thwarted or detoured our destiny. And gratefully so, your, your father is an amazing individual. I know he's had a hand and um, uh, directing your destiny to where you are today. And, uh, you know, we need more um, surrogate fathers, if you will, uh, to, to direct uh, these young people's destiny to, the, to, to, to fruition, if you will. So um, with this app, man, with this process, they're giving you ownership. They're, they're telling you, man, you can save the day. They're helping you save the day and you can be part of the creative uh, uh, force behind what we love so much as a culture, this thing we call pop culture, superheroes and, and, and action. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's about saving the day. And, and when you're talking about saving the day, we're talking about saving each and one of every one of us individually. You know what I'm saying? From whatever uh, haunts us, right? Whatever is our adversary, right? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited uh, about what you're doing uh, and, and, and I'm definitely, you know, want to continue to tell people to support it and I will continue to do that. And I'm just looking forward to um, the next level. I was talking earlier about a seed. A seed does not in and of itself um, project the possibilities or its potential, right? It's a seed. 
in order for that to happen, it must go down before it goes up. And it must go into a place of incubation, a place of nourishment, a, a place most of the time of darkness, right? Because when that seed goes into the ground, the only person that knows the potential of that seed is the seed itself. The ground is there to create an environment, to create a place of, 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 of nourishment, a place of solitude so that the seed can reflect on its destiny, right? Then you got the water that comes down from above. OK, and helps the, the, the what we call the ground to, to nourish the seed so that the potential goes forth. But it doesn't stop there. Then you have something called light photosynthesis. Can I preach this for five seconds? Light comes in. Right. And begins to bring other aspects to this the, to to this potential. Right. This dormant potential, because that's what a seed is. Right. It's dormant potential until it gets into the right environment, then it can begin to what? To spring forth and to be able to, to um, uh, I guess, produce, right? To produce and, and uh, it's a uh, full potential, right? So what people don't realize is this, every seed starts out and it's dark, right? But if it's nourished, it will begin to grow. But don't expect fruit to be the first thing. The root is the first thing. See, the seed has to take root. It's got to go down and get a foundation. And that's what we're doing right now. You're building a foundation. And people need to see that and, and see that, okay, I'm telling you this is a sunflower. You don't see that yet. But if you give it enough time and nourishment, one day you're going to see these petals spring forth and, 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 and brighten your day and give you a reason to smile. You see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, our gifts are not for ourselves. That's why they're called gifts. They're made to give away. You know what I'm saying? This gift is made to give away. You know what I'm saying? And it's that giving that brings the joy, that brings that fulfillment. Because if each one teach one, that giving is going to come back to you at some point. So no one has a gift that they keep and just wrap and put under the tree. Oh, that's my gift. No, it's made to give to someone. And this is what this gift is made to do. It's made to, to change lives. It's made to bring forth a new perspective. And like you said earlier, to, to virtually bring answers, right? You talked about Star Trek, be me up, Scotty. You know what I'm saying? That that tri-quarter, baby, I remember that because, you know, everybody wanted that tri, that tri-quarter and everybody wanted to get beamed up. You know what I'm saying? But now you're holding these tri-quarters and you don't, that this thing is everything you, this is your whole life. You know what I'm saying? On this try, you lose that phone, forget about it, because you don't remember nobody's number. <laughs> remember how back in the day you used to be able to remember people's number? Nope, try quarter got it, so you ain't thinking about it no more. So the point is, you know, when new technology comes in, you know, it's meant to help us be better, but at the same time, you know, there there's some things that you have to do to continue to function and to to uh, be able to. Uh, stay rooted, if you will, stay rooted in, uh, in this society and the world that we live in today. And I'm just grateful for people like yourself uh, presenting things like this. And I'm hoping that people will go out and support. And you guys have a wonderful team. These are some bright young people. Um, uh, and, and, and when you done, I'm going to try to steal a couple of them because you got app builders and all kinds of stuff over here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to steal some of that stuff later on. But mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the meantime, you know, we are just going to support, you know, one another and support what you guys are doing. Uh, a quick note, every month, guys, we're going to have one of these sessions every month. We're going to have uh, something at the, the virtual expo. Like I said, it's live from this point on. But every month we're going to come together and spotlight some things. And exhibitors like JFH have the opportunity to change out their links and their branding uh, on their booth in case they have something new that they want to present to you. So at any time you guys want to come check it out, make sure you do 
because they might have something new. Uh, but for those uh, who weren't he listening earlier, Tai Chi Baby, uh, Tuesday nights at eight o'clock, go to justinforhire.com, but just go into Expo and click the booth. Uh, the, the, the biggest picture on the wall is going to take you to the website and then you can sign up for the Tai Chi uh, donation based only and, and learn something and get a nice route so that you can, uh, you know, get grounded because that's what that's what's important um, with, with the Tai Chi. I, you know, I love it because Jet Li, boy, that movie, man, that movie Tai Chi with Jet Li. You remember that one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I love that movie, boy. That was I'm a Fong Sai Yuk too kind of guy, honestly. Yeah, and then, I mean, that ball, <laughs> he had that ball. Anyway, let me get excited. Um, <laughs> but um, man, we're just so grateful. Anything else you guys want to tell us before we go? And I'm looking forward to receiving more and more people, um, team members on the test team, and maybe soon we're gonna have one of these sessions with an actual uh demo of the app uh to be announced yeah and just to follow up with what you were saying demetrius i think what's so exciting about the convergence of, of social media and storytelling is it allows people to be actually invested in their character i think a lot of times which, which is wonderful we look up to superheroes but to actually turn back and say hey no you can be as invested in yourself and your own character as you are in these superhero movies. I just think that's really just amazing and so exciting. So thank you so much for giving us the platform to really spread our message. And, and I'm so excited for more people to join us. And Demetrius, I, I want to throw in one thing there to connect kind of both mm -hmm. what, what you, Autumn just said and you, what you were saying. I mean, because kids have come to us um, on Justice for Hire asking for mentorship. And they're like, hey, can I, can I team up with an older hero to help me, to, to help me learn? And, and, and that that's always touched me because they're they're really looking to what we're doing as a, a to a certain extent as a school. And remember, this is entertainment, but our entertainment actually informs us. You you were saying earlier that uh, you know to a certain extent when we if you call somebody a hero, you're projecting onto them. But it's super important that every time we pick up one of these things and we're looking at it, you know, mm -hmm. we're, there, there's a really there's a there's a, a an intimate connection. If you're looking at a movie screen or your phone. There's an intimate connection and you are being trained, whether or not you're conscious of it, even unconsciously, you're receiving information. It is it is conditioning you to have a certain perspective. And the more entertainment we consume, the more we are conditioned by our, the, that entertainment or by anything that, that you're consuming, your, your environment, etc. So I think it's super important for us to take control of our narratives. And when it comes to what we're doing with Justice for Hire or Real World, this is really us doing our best to bring back something that has actually been removed from culture and society, which is collective journey storytelling, which is everybody around the fire telling a part of the story together, rather than having a big studio tell you that this is what a hero looks like, this is what the problems are in the world, and this is the only way to solve them. Like we need to be more innovative as a culture to solve our real problems. And therefore our entertainment needs to be reflective of our spirit of innovation. And that's what we're doing here. We're bringing people together to tell stories together. We know that we're gonna find the next 100 Deadpools or whatever you wanna call it, the next big thing is gonna come from the crowd. It's gonna come from somebody at home that is creating their own hero and portraying that hero in a shared universe, whether it's Justice for Hire or whether it's a multi-billion dollar uh, uh, franchise that we're already talking to in terms of like partnering up. So for, for us, we see your story as the greatest story ever told. And that's why it's important for us to, to work together to build a company too for, for real world. It's important for us to work together on our first project, Justice for Hire, to even prove that this is working. And it has been working for two years. And that's, so we're just super, um, super grateful that um, Demetrius, that you've recognized what we've been working toward and can still see that there's a lot more to go, but um, you know, you can see the, 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 the sunflower seeds in it, the, <laughs> us chewing those wonderful sunflower seeds, you know, basking the light. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I just so love that, that, uh, initiative of mentorship and i would definitely like to explore that more because we need that that mentorship we, we need you 
in Justice for Hire as your own character. I know you. I know you're in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I know that this is. I know you have a contract there. I don't know all the details, but if you can create and portray your own character, like like we'll we'll, just, we'll have a Demetrius Day because when you go off, we just get trailers out of this. You know, you just gave us like three trailers on this one. We really need to pull those that audio for this. So like. You just let us know when you're ready, and please join the cinematic universe. <laughs> yeah, too much, boy. Yeah, and you're all much. ripped up. You're all muscular and ripped up. So, you know, you, <laughs> you, know, you know, just sort of like standing on the corner of the building, like looking over the city kind of shot. Well, I, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. <laughs> but, 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 but more importantly, the young lady uh, here in the yellow talks about investing in yourself. You're talking about how much time, like you just talked about consuming, 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 right? And that consumption does what? It affects you and it influences you. But then she said, well, what about spending time on you? What about spending time on your vision and your character? I'm telling you, this thing is deep. People don't realize this thing is deep and this is gonna make you better. But um, let, I definitely want to follow up about the mentorship because I have so many ways that, you know, we can bring in the corporations and stuff like that with this mentorship mentality. And it still feeds into what you're doing because tell me something. Every action hero or superhero has some sort of mentor, right? Shield, who we got? Right. Well, we get we got Nick Fury, right? Um, you know, uh, 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 Blade had Whistler. Come on now, everybody has someone that touches and transforms their lives and 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 helps to direct their destiny. But what's important to know is just like everyone has that person, you've got about ten more people trying to deter your destiny. I call that DD and them. Destiny deterrence. See, we want to avoid DD, okay? Because DD don't want you to get to your destiny because DD ain't trying to get to her destiny. But if we can teach DD, hello, how to come on, somebody. If we can teach DD, come on now, how to manifest her destiny, she's not going to try to deter yours. That's why we talked about that each one teach one in that circle of life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where everybody's coming together in this, this ring of unity, this 360 degree orb of unity, you know what I'm saying? For the better good. All right, I done preached and I done appreciated y'all for, for, for listening. And I appreciate you guys for your time. You guys are in, uh, you guys are in LA, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, we appreciate everybody coming on and supporting us. And we're going to continue to support each other and, and, and bring you updates. And um, just before we go, I'm not a tech guy, so I'm going to ask something you probably explained more than once. <laughs> How do we uh, take part in the, the you, you're talking about the, um, the app. You're saying you, you, you could be a part of the testing uh, portion of that. How is that possible and how do we do it? Is it something we got to download? What do we need to do? For now, you go on uh, justiceforhire.com and you can join our test sessions every week from there. Um, I'm going to give you more details once you're signed up there. And um, technology is supporting... Adam, you want to chime okay. in? No. I'm um, on here. Where do I go? I'm here. What so so the, 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 the test scenes, you can just sign up right on our email yes. list, right on the website. And okay. you can, I'm you on can the say, website. I want to test the app. That's yes. totally fine. No, uh, I'm, you, on I'm on the website. Where do I go? Oh, you just scroll up a little bit to, yeah, right there. It says sign up for the newsletter. Ah. So that's one thing, too. You can uh -huh. do. You can send us a message through there. Okay. Uh, right. You can also go on to Instagram, and our Instagram is on the right side. Uh, on the bar, you'll see on the black bar on the right side of the screen. And you can just uh, send us a, a direct message right there. Most of, of, of people are come to us uh, through Instagram uh, because that's where we have the most activity until our app launches. We, of course, have a YouTube channel, uh, all the content's there as well. We're also on TikTok, but we're hyper-focused on, on Instagram. And um, that's where we, we, we meet. That's where our, we have our private chats 
Uh, we have multiple cast chats there. We also have a Discord, but to get access to the Discord, you have to join the uh, the, the cast on Instagram. We're all we're centralizing all of this on on the app, and uh, you're gonna see in terms of the te uh, tech strategy, it's different than what you've seen until now. Um, we have our reasons for. We can have a separate conversation for that, but just uh, technology to support all this and to to streamline and to speed up all the expansion of the of the JFH universe and then to support the the real world processes and automate them um, in the in the we're gonna have parties with the app that's all I was gonna say yeah. there's gonna be parties we're gonna have, and, and, <laughs> we're and still waiting on some trademarks so I'm not saying yeah, more come, come on Wednesdays to test the app if you want to test yes. with it with like there's an app, app test, test team. team there's heroes yes. testing the app yeah. and and they come together every Wednesday led by Andra yeah so if you come on Wednesdays Again, DM on Instagram. Uh, of course, sign up on the inter on the, on the uh, website. But uh, but come test the app. See what's actually happening. See how relationships are 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 connected in the cinematic yeah. universe. It's really really cool stuff. Re it's it's it, there's nothing like it. And so um so yeah that that's that, that Wednesdays is, is is right now our app day and we're gonna expand out from there. But it, it's not gonna be a, a a traditional rollout of an app. We're gonna we're gonna go slowly and surely and build out really story based community rather than just people posting on a regular basis taking selfies. Like this is really <laughs> about narrative. This is about story. It's about your story tying together with others. So yeah, so and, it's a different and way connecting the the educational part, the mentorship, the training of like what you've seen during the uh, during all our events, the training events. That all the trainings have. on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's. And more. And that's the that's the whole goal of of technology. Instead of creating more noise, to cut through the noise, give you access to like, someone in Europe, someone in Asia can join this cinematic universe. You don't need to be in in LA. And uh, this is the ultimate goal of technology to create and to change the future. And I'm. I'm very honored that you said that you want to steal us, but I have to admit that this is my life's work and I don't see myself doing something <laughs> else anytime soon. And uh, as I, as my mom wants to know when I will retire, probably I will retire from doing this in years, decades. So Demetrius is already a part of the team though. So yes. we'll, 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 whatever you need, you gotta let us know. We'll figure this all out. <laughs> yes. And that of course, um, yeah. We need an infomercial with, with, uh, Demetrius. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, it sounds let's, good. I, let's do a separate event for tech. Well, I, I, like I said, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate the team. Um, I appreciate your vision, and uh, appreciate your support. Uh, go to justiceforhire.com. Go to their Instagram. Uh, do your Tai Chi on Tuesday, and 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 your your hero test on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the JFH uh, oh yeah, that's right. And there's JFH Saturdays, Saturdays where we have our hero meetups. That's another thing. See, so. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought you wasn't gonna keep those secrets. No, <laughs> no, that was. We had an acting workshop too. It was like every Saturday we're doing something else. But so this Saturday with we're with you, so this is great. Sign up for the newsletter. <laughs> you won't miss it. Sign up for the newsletter. You'll find out everything you need to know. It was right there on the site, staring at me, because you know I'm like. With a deer in headlights, it was like right in my face. <laughs> Just sign up, guys, and, and find out and be a part of the action and find out what's going on. All right, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you so much. And um, I'm going to go and do our little raffle now. But uh, you guys stay safe out there. And uh, we will be um, obviously uh, getting some updates with you guys. And, and, um, and, and in the meantime, Please, please, please be safe because I want to see you in person. I seen Jan. I don't care about him no more. But you, two, you two lovely young ladies. Oh yeah, I did. You're right. We did see each other in person, but I didn't see you. So we got to see you guys. Actually, you met Autumn in person too in 2018. You met Andre in person in 2019. I'm old. <laughs> you were you were busy. You were busy. busy. You were Rick Myers. You're super yeah. busy. <laughs> okay. I'm old. But anyway, I, how about this? I want to see you again. Okay. Cannot go. wait. Well, yeah. we'll see you Tuesday yeah. for Tai Chi. No, I want to see you in the natural. Okay. I want to I see you in the natural. Now, when we when we get that Scotty thing going on, where y'all could just beam me back and forth, we 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 that's when we arrived right then. <laughs> that's when we arrived. But once again, guys, stay safe. God bless, and we'll see you next time.
Thank you so much, Demetrius.